Hello! Welcome to this tutorial about how to record and create speed paint videos in Photoshop without showing, zooming and panning using OBS. So, a good reason to record this way is because anytime you start working in Photoshop it is natural to start zooming quite often and start moving the canvas all around to work on details, to check the general overview of your picture, etc. etc. And at least that's something that I do quite often myself. And that will be fine if you intend to show the recording of your process in real time, but as soon as you start speeding up the video to do a time lapse, the constant back and forth with zooming and panning can be very distracting and annoying to watch. I will show you what I mean now by speeding up the video of the process. And the more you speed up the video, the more annoying it becomes. So, the way to avoid this is to go to the Window tab and select Arrange. Then, you click on the new window for whatever the file name you are using. This will create a duplicate window on your canvas that you can drag and do anything with it. The important aspect of this duplicate is that if I zoom in in my main canvas window, it does not show it on the duplicate. On the other hand, it will show in real time any progress and changes on the work displayed on the main canvas, as you can see now. I will speed up the video so you can see better what I mean. Anything I paint on the main canvas is shown on the duplicate in a smooth way, maintaining a steel frame. Now I can work on my piece, scaling, moving and zooming as much as I want, knowing it will not show on the duplicate window, which will be the one we will be recording for our future video. Now, in case you have a single monitor to only record the duplicate window and nothing else, what you can do is to arrange the windows in a way that works for you. For example, you can go to the window tab and select to a vertical, which will organize the windows on your monitor allowing you to select in OBS the separate area of the monitor you want to record. In this case, it will be the left side. Even though this works, it is not optimal since you are limiting your working area on your monitor. What I would recommend you though, and the way I do it myself, is using a second monitor to display the duplicate window. Using this second monitor will allow you to use the full area of your first monitor to work on the main window. To do this, I drag the duplicate window to my second monitor. In my case, it is my left side. Then we go to OBS, which is already recording our first monitor display. We go to Source and click the plus sign and then we select Display Capture. We press OK and now this window shows us all these displays available on your setup. Since I have three monitors, it is showing three options in my case. We select the display option that corresponds to our second monitor and it will pop up, showing us what is on our second monitor. We scale the area of recording and we are done. Now if we start working on our main monitor, what OBS will be recording will be the duplicate window displayed on our second monitor. And we are done. Now we can focus all our energy on painting, knowing that everything that we are doing on our first monitor is being recorded by OBS on the second monitor. One aspect to have in mind though is that with this process you cannot show all the tools, layers and things that you do during your process. But since the goal in this case is to create an enjoyable to watch time lapse video, that loss is not such a big deal in my opinion. I hope you have found this video useful and if that is the case don't forget to give a like and subscribe. And that's it for today. If you have any feedback or questions or you have some suggestions for content you would like to see in future videos please write them down below on the comment section. Until next time, bye bye.